What's going on guys? L7 Rice here and today I'm going to be talking about the trick shotting community and the sniping community and uh, how it's going to progress and stuff like that. So I've been in this community for a couple of years now since MW2 which is when it began I think. I think I was a couple of months or year or maybe a year after MW2 came out I joined in. But I can tell from earlier in the days that the standards of trick shotting and sniping went from zero to a hundo, okay? For if you guys haven't played MW2 yet, uh, back when MW2 standards were there, Basically, it all started out with uh, jumping no scopes or something like that, and it went to 180 no scopes and then 360 no scoping, a quick scoping stuff like that. Nowadays, we'd call you shit, okay? If you had a shot like that in the lobby, all these kids are gonna be like, kill yourself, drink bleach. So again, back in the day, it was 360 no scopes, 24/7, right? Hit 720 dank, quick scopes, all of that. And these people did it for fun, just like learning and discovering new new shots to go for. Now back in the MW2 days, I don't know if people told you to go kill yourself or whatnot. I didn't experience it, but I had a lot of fun just learning new things and getting better at trick shotting itself. It wasn't competitive, it was just it was fun. It, it wasn't boring like today. I don't know if it's boring for you guys, but it's pretty boring for me right now. But it was pretty fun back in the day just because you had friends to play with, they weren't shit talking you 24 7 seven right they weren't doing death threats at you and you were just discovering everything in the game like you're fucking Christopher Columbus sailing across the Atlantic Ocean okay I don't know what the fuck he was trying to find I think it was India but uh, he landed in fucking America so great job so we were just messing around finding new things we found knacks okay knacks are for kids you don't knack you suck dick that's what I want to talk about nowadays the standards is like if you had a 720 insta swap you're labeled shit okay Th that's basically it you're shit get good kid that's your, that's what you're gonna hear basically standards today a lot of people think you know you gotta hit a uh, fucking neck okay a titty neck titty neck titty neck titty neck you gotta hit a titty neck right okay titty necking and you got the moany neck which is uh, for plebs you got the Adelia Rose neck right reload necking I mean if you hit those you're considered cool I'm pretty cool myself because I hit some necks just kidding. Now I have a tweet here from uh, Fully7F. He used to be in Obey. His uh, name was Obey Fully, but now he joined 7F. So fuck you, Fully. Just kidding. Anyways, here's his tweet. So basically, he tweeted this out saying, "Can anyone else relate?" And then it's just a little paragraph of saying, you know, the stuff, so you guys can read that. Or actually, I'll just fucking read it to you. Basically, what it says is, I hate how luck determines if you get to stay in the team or not. It's hard enough nowadays to hit good non-repetitive shots, especially with the current standards. Also, what the community determines what a usable shot is. Now, I totally agree with this mofo. The first time I quit was because the amount of stress was put onto me, just hitting clips, you know, on the daily. And if you don't hit a clip, you're basically dropped from the team because you're you're useless and you're trash and you're shit. No, but basically if you don't hit, you quit. Okay? That's, that's basically it. Anyways, I'm gonna talk about this first. Basically, what he's saying is standards are becoming too way too high, right? I mean, you gotta hit an insane shot to even use it in videos nowadays. Now back when the Neanderthals were roaming the earth, we could hit 360 no scopes, okay, on the ground. And it would count as a clip. Now you gotta go for like 1800s, titty knack, quadruple, semtex cancels, that's that's what I already do. Bony knacks, reload knack, while titty knacking again, and then you finally jump off and then do another 1800. Maybe I exaggerated way too much, but it's something along that line. Now my opinion on this, when he says the current standards say what is a usable shot, my opinion is if you hit, and if it's nice, if it's clean, if it has a reload, which I never reload for some reason, then go ahead and use it. I mean, you can't just say, wow, okay, you hit an insta swap, you can't use it. Well, I mean, obviously the standards is pretty shit, okay? I don't even know why I'm saying that now, just because I sound like a hypocrite. But if you hit just an insta swap, obviously I don't think you can use that. Just because the standard nowadays is so high, you gotta hit titty necks, right? Now, a lot of people say quality over quantity. That's true, but teams also want to see how many you can hit in a week or a month. Because they want people that can hit consistently and hit good shots, okay? Usable shots that will look good in cams, team tages, 
episode, stuff like that. So if you can hit shots 24-7 and make it look pretty good, then you're set for life in this community. That's basically it. I don't even know if I got to the point, but hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have your own opinion on this shit, leave a comment because I'm gonna read the comments. Like always. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hope you have a good day. And don't forget to stick your dick in a toaster. Peace.